Protests and rallies supporting both sides have been prevalent on the North Coast. And back in the North State yesterday, Free Palestine NorCal held two sister rallies, one in Crescent City and the other at Reading City Hall. The Reading rally met with counter protesters. Our Max Tedford shows us what both sides had to say. Palestine will be free. Free Palestine NorCal has held several rallies around Reading on weekends over the last few months. But on this Sunday, it wasn't the only group in front of Reading City Hall. It's Holocaust Remembrance Day, and uh, basically they're, they want to talk about genocide, and that was a genocide. That was a true genocide. And we feel that Israel needs to, uh, needs to prevail. Kelly Frost and the handful of folks with him represent Reading Stand for Israel, a group they say formed separately to free Palestine. And while he says they've had civil conversations with the other group, Frost says he can't understand their stance. I don't really know, to tell you the truth. Um, I think a lot of it is just education in the schools, because I think a lot of young people may honestly not even know that there was a Holocaust. However, that's a sentiment Laurie O'Connell, one of the Free Palestine NorCal's founders, disagrees with. Uh, we've seen absolutely no anti-Semitic um, uh, you know, opinions, anyone who would express that would be kicked out of our group because that's just, you know, that's a, a horrific position. And says while it's troublesome to see the violence during police raids on protests, she feels the movement itself is growing. Children are dying of starvation just 10 minutes away from a, the blockaded thousands of aid trucks that Israel refuses to let through. It's just unconscionable. And that's what the young people are responding to. And also the, the faculty and the staff are joining them. So that is so heartening. Both groups share they will be continuing to hold regular demonstrations as the conflict in Gaza continues. In Reading, I'm Max Tedford for the North States News.